They look healthy enough, but scientists say these koalas may be sick. If so, many of them will probably be euthanized. A cull may be necessary because the colony of a thousand animals has grown too large and there's simply not enough food to go around. Frank Fortinus manages a campsite nearby. I've seen dead koalas in the bases of trees, stripped trees, uh, you know, the whole forests, and, and just a koala sitting on the bottom of the trees dying. I mean, the whole cape smelt of dead, dead koalas. Animal rights activists say they're deeply concerned about a possible cull, but Mandy Watson from the Department of the Environment says it may be necessary to protect the species as a whole. Sustainable density is thought to be about one per hectare and what we're observing on the ground is about three to four as a minimum and up to about 20. So now scientists are examining individual koalas and implanting fertility control devices in the females before releasing them. While it may help reduce numbers over the long term, it may not be enough to prevent a cull.